Ever since the NFL and EA came up with their exclusive license that allows Madden to be the only simulation football game with NFL licensing, many people have been waiting for the exclusive license to end, or for there to be a true competitor to Madden when it comes to simulation football. With titles like Maximum Football, Legend Bowl, Sunday Rivals, and the game that's the focus of today's video, Axis Football, there are plenty of alternative football games for anyone who wants to scratch that itch but doesn't want to play any of the newer Madden titles. I recently got my hands on the latest edition of the Axis Football series, Axis Football 2023. While it is a fun game with one of the most deep franchise modes, if you're expecting it to be a true Madden competitor, you might want to temper your expectations a little bit. However, if you're looking for a fun football experience without having to give EA any more money, Access Football 2003 might just be the game for you. Here's my review of Access Football 2023. As far as the gameplay goes, the gameplay has a much different feel than that of Madden. Even for a title that's not a AAA title, from the games that I've played, it really doesn't feel as animation heavy as the current Madden games do. The tackling system feels way better than it did last year with 300 different tackling animations, and it feels much more momentum and physics based than Madden does. No longer do we have defensive players who just feel like they're floating around, and movements as a whole defensively look a lot better than they did last year. As for the offense, route running and catching animations look a lot more crisp, running the ball feels much more smooth, and the passing game looks and feels a lot more realistic as well. I also feel like the atmosphere in the stadium feels a lot better than in previous titles, and offensive line and defensive line play looks improved as well. My main gripe with the gameplay, especially as a content creator, is that there's no instant replay. I think it's a big issue, even just for casual players who'd like to see replays of their games and great plays as well, but don't have a capture card to save them to, though you could just save them through Xbox or PS5 or even your PC as well. I'd just love to see that implemented in a future title update or even in the future installment of the game. I'm also not really a fan of the commentary either, even though we do have the familiar voice of Terry McGovern, also known as Dan Stevens in the ESPN NFL 2K series, although he's known as Dave Stevens in this game. It's nice to have a familiar voice, but the commentary feels so robotic that I'd rather just turn it off personally. I've also noticed at times that there was a bit of lag during the gameplay as well, though for full disclosure, I'm playing the game on the Xbox Series S, so if you're on PC, PS5, or the Xbox Series X, you may not run into the same issue that I've run into. I have seen other people talk about some glitches that they've dealt with, like the buttons disappearing on Xbox. However, in the few hours that I've played the game, I haven't really experienced it, so if you have, let me know, but I personally haven't experienced that as of yet. All in all, I think the gameplay is a huge upgrade from what it was in 2022, but they still have some work to do in some aspects. As far as franchise mode goes, I feel like this game is still the pinnacle of franchise modes when it comes to football. You can still set up your franchise to either have the traditional American football setup with 32 teams, two conferences, and four divisions in each conference, or you can do a tier system similar to that of many European soccer leagues with promotion and relegation. You can also randomize the rosters, turn on unlimited funds in order to have a less serious and more fun franchise experience, and much, much more. My main gripe is that you're still not able to pick more than one team for your franchise, but I'm sure that's something that they'll add in future installments of the game. Franchise mode gets even deeper when you go to personnel decisions. You can check out the team morale system and clearly see what you can do to improve the morale of the team. You can also trade up to four players or draft picks in the trading section, and you can even trade picks three years in the future. The depth chart looks really clean as well. It's a little different from Madden's depth chart, with it consolidating each position, like the running back positions, linebacker positions, so on and so forth, but it looks pretty clean overall. In the front office section, not only can you hire head coaches and coordinators, you can also hire individual position coaches, like a QB coach, a running back coach, and much, much more, as well as regional scouts. In the practice strategy section, you can set up your team's practice intensity from none, light, normal, heavy, or extreme. The higher the intensity, the more practice points you get to assign to things like passing, rushing, and ball security, and even film study. 
As you can imagine, however, setting practice intensity high might help your players develop faster, but it could also damage morale and even increase the chances of injuries. The draft section is much more in-depth than that of Madden, as it will actually suggest players for you to draft from best available to positions of need. There's even a national scouting report that shows the quality of players in each region. The higher the grade, the more players of quality that region has. You can also spend funds to improve or repair aspects of your home field as well. And these improvements will allow your team to have benefits as well. For example, repairing your field condition reduces the chances of injury on your home field. Record keeping is a lot deeper in the franchise mode as well, as not only can you look at league-wide records, you are also shown your franchise records as well. You can even edit teams in the franchise from the logo, to the colors, to the player names, ages, attributes, and so on. So if you want to create your own version of the NFL, you have the ability to do so. The only real complaint that I have with franchise mode is that you're not able to edit draft prospects until after they're drafted, which could be a bit of a nitpick by me as a content creator, but overall I don't think it really takes away from the overall experience of franchise mode. Another light criticism that I have is I think it'd be cool to have the ability to add more than just 36 teams to a franchise, which would allow you to kind of emulate a college style dynasty, but that's also a really minor complaint. All in all, Franchise Mode in Access Football 2023 remains arguably the deepest out of any sports game, and certainly of any football game. The Create a Team feature is a lot easier to use than a lot of other titles Create a Team features, as you have plenty of logos to choose from, and choosing your team color is easy with the game allowing you to use hex code to pick the exact color you want your team to be. It even gives you templates from the default teams, NFL teams, Canadian teams, and even college teams, so recreating your favorite NFL team is even easier than before. One thing I'd love to see in the future in regards to team customization is the ability to upload teams logos from some kind of team builder type site. However, I think this is also kind of a nitpick. And I understand that this is an independent title, and for it being an independent title, this is as good as it gets when it comes to team customization. Axis Football 2023 is a fun experience all in all for what it is. Now if you're expecting this game to be a true competitor to Madden, like I said, I'd advise you to lower your expectations. But if you're looking for an alternative that's still a lot of fun, even while having room for growth and improvement, at $19.99 USD on Steam, the PlayStation Store, and the Xbox Marketplace, you will definitely get bang for your buck with this game. My final rating for this game is a 7.5 out of 10. I think if Instant Replay was in the game, if the commentary was a little bit better, and a few more things were worked on with this game, it would easily at least get an 8 from me. With that being said, even though this game is far from perfect, if Madden 23 is a step in the right direction for the Madden series, Axis Football 2023 is a jump in the right direction for the Axis Football series. Those are just my thoughts on the game. Again, the game is $19.99 USD on Steam, the PlayStation Network, and the Xbox Marketplace. So if you have about $20 to spare and you want to give this game a shot, I say go for it. I will be doing a series with this game, I haven't decided whether it will be a stream series or a series that I do video wise, but let me know in the comment section what you guys think I should do as far as that goes, and I'll definitely be allowing all of my subscribers to create players for the series as well. So if you guys enjoyed this video, you thought it was informative when it comes to getting this game, hit that like button, hit the sub button if you're new as well. I also have an Atlanta Falcons franchise in Madden 23, as well as a Wizards My NBA series in NBA 2K23. So if that interests you at all, hit the sub button, hit the like button as well, and turn your notifications on to join the notification gang. That way, every time I upload a video, you guys will be notified. And we're going to keep it rolling here on Kaz Cray Gaming. If you want to see more from the channel, check out the playlist and the video in front of you.